Hey guys, Double Wide 6, and in today's video, we're going to be installing a mini split. This is my building. It's 24 by 24 foot. It's a detached garage. It's all insulated, and I'm going to put in an 1800 BTU mini split unit. Okay, guys, here's a look at the unit. It all came on a pallet right from Amazon. And uh, it was all shrink wrapped and sealed up real nice. There was absolutely no damage. Got delivered from FedEx. You get your indoor unit, you get your line set, which you see in the middle here, and on the right, you get your outdoor unit. Now, this unit I am planning on installing myself. I did a lot of research on different mini split units, and uh, I was pretty much between the Senville and the Pioneer. They're both very similar. And uh, you can get them for, you know, under $1,000 shipped, and uh, you can install it yourself. Now, as far as the warranty on this unit, you can uh, get an HVAC person to do your install for you, and that'll give you your warranty. However, I'm going to end up voiding my warranty because I'm going to install this myself and vacuum the lines myself. And uh, I'll show you in this video... Um, you know how to do some of the different steps but keep in mind I am not an HVAC uh, contractor I am just a homeowner installing this thing in my garage and this thing is a heat pump and it's also an air conditioner and uh, it should do a really good job in my space here because uh, this unit is good for up to about a thousand square foot here's a quick look at the outdoor unit Real nice finish on here. Uh, like I said, it shipped perfect. So in this video, we're basically going to get set up with our mini split unit. And what I'm doing is I'm hooking up the electrical. So the first thing I've done is uh, I've turned off all the power. And now I'm showing you that I have a double 20 amp breaker. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook up our 12-2 wire to the breaker. So the first step is to take the ground and just get it oriented properly in the box. And then to screw it off to the ground lug. Okay, now we're running our lines. So we have two wires in our 12-2. And both of these are going to get routed and hooked up to the breaker. With my lines routed, the first thing I'm going to do here is strip the ends. And you're going to notice that with the 12-2 wire, we have a white wire and a black wire. And what I'm doing is I'm taking that white wire and I'm coloring it in black on the end so that we know that this will be a live wire. So both these wires are going to tie on to the breaker. Here's a closer look. This is a 20 amp double pole breaker. This is going to give us our 240. And what I'm doing is just setting these lugs. So the white wire and the black wire, we're securing them both. Keep in mind, I am not a certified electrician. I'm just a homeowner doing a project. So make sure you follow all building codes and maybe even get an electrician to do this part of your job. This is a look at the cover of the box. You got to take out two knockouts to get it all set for the breakers. And I'm just labeling these right away so I know what they are. And then the cover actually sets on the wall and gets screwed in place. And at this point, I can turn back on the power in my shop. And uh, once the power's back on, I'll just keep off my air conditioning breaker so that there's not live power going to it while I'm working on the unit. On the outside of the building where the outdoor unit's going to be located, I have this AC disconnect box. This is required, it's a safety feature so that if anyone's working on the AC, they can they can pull this out and that'll turn off the power. Now I've briefly turned on the power. I just want to check that I'm getting my 240 out here. So the 
two wires coming in go to these two lugs and my meter showing 237 and I should have 120 across each side oops from uh, ground to each line lug yeah so I have my power and now I'll bring it in and just show you how this is wired up so the yellow wire coming in here that's my 12-2 and what that does is that goes up to these two center lugs those are my lines they provide the 240 volts the outside lugs they're going to send power through this whip these wires run down and the other end of this is going to hook on to the compressor and basically all you have to do is insert this thing here and that's going to when it's in the on position that's going to provide power to your air conditioner if you flip it over actually this way it's in the off position so we can put this in the off position until we're done with our install. There's also a plastic cover that goes on here. Just like that. So that's in the off position and now I'm gonna turn off the breaker. Here's a look at my slab. Uh, I poured this because uh, I didn't want to mount it on the house. Uh, so, you know, this only cost like eight bucks and it was easy to do. And I'll put a link in the description to a video where I show you how to pour a little slab like this. But that's that, that should reduce noise and vibration. And now we're gonna set the outdoor compressor on that slab. All right, so there's rubber pads that go under the feet. And hitting these with a little bit of WD-40. All right, I got it all attached with the rubber pads underneath. I drilled that out with a hammer drill and then I used tap cons to put it in. There's a bush behind here, a little, uh, I think it's like a peonies or something. Uh, I cut this back a little bit, but I'm still leaving it there. It says it needs 12 inches behind it. I left about 22 inches between the back of the unit and the building. So uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay guys, here's the indoor unit. I have it up on the bench. I'm just kind of taking a look at what the deal is. And I'm sort of figuring out how I want to do these videos. Uh, you'll notice I said videos. I'm going to break this thing up into several parts. So one, two, three, something like that. And then I'll also make a full video with all three or four of these together showing you the whole install. This is video one, and it's basically on the electric, okay? And as I said, I am not an electrician, and I'm just a homeowner doing an install here. So please follow your local building codes and hire an electrician if you need to. So, as far as this unit goes, there's an electrical wire that comes with the installation kit. Now, part of the reason I bought the Senville is it comes pretty much with everything you need except for the tools you'll need to install. My videos will give you all the tools listed for the install, like gauges, adapters, things like that, in the description down below. Now, this plate is used to hang the indoor unit on the wall. In here, you have your two line sets. One is a 3 8 inch, one's a quarter inch. They come with the ferrules on there. Now, you're gonna need, you know, most likely the flaring tool. So that's something I had to buy. So I'll put a link for that like in the description. So down here is your electrical wire. Okay, this runs between 
the outdoor compressor and the indoor unit you'll see it it has you know wire tabs and everything there's four wires that comes with the kit you also get a drain hose you get your tape um, I brought this out just so you can see this unit is uh, 15.5 sear which is pretty good and uh, the heating performance factor is 9.8 it's one of the most efficient heat pumps goes down to I think 5 degrees Fahrenheit which is really good it's 410A Freon and the unit comes pre-charged meaning it already has the Freon in it you just do need to vacuum the lines now this electrical wire, you'll see a plate here, okay, it'll be a hole. I removed a little plastic tab, which is here, pop that off, and I put a wire clamp on there, and that feeds through to the front. That took me some time to figure out, because the directions really don't tell you how to do it. So, that goes through there, and then I'll turn this unit around and show you the front. The unit also comes with the through wall adapter, protection sleeve, and uh, you know the line sets and all that. So let me flip this around and I'll just show you how the indoor unit is wired up. You can stand the uh, unit upright like that and you'll see you can open up this flap. Now this thing snaps so you got to you know you pull on it a little bit and these clips will pop open and in here is your electrical wire so just be real careful if you stand the unit up uh, this is probably the best way to do it because the bottom of the unit's round and it won't stand up so unless you have someone to hold it and in here there's this metal slash plastic cover now I took a uh, nipper and I cut that V out of there and that's just to protect the wires so that they're not being crushed okay I also snipped away some metal here and I filed that so that it's smooth so the wire runs through that hole through the wire clamp in the back and then it comes out here and they have the lugs labeled one two and three I went red to red white to yellow and black to black you just need to make sure when you wire it up that number one goes to one on the outdoor unit two and three and so on so that's how you wire it up and you can see how the wires kind of run through here like that and that's why I cut that little notch and this will get screwed on there like that there's a little set screw that goes in there and then they have a plastic plate that covers this up to make it look nice. And here's the filters that come with the unit. So you need to clean those out uh, once in a while too. And one other tip for you is the wiring diagram is on the inside of the unit. So uh, it's, it's here on the indoor unit and it's on the cover that you take off for the electrical on the outdoor unit. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up video one. Video two is going to actually show you how to put the unit through the wall, how to bend the copper tubing properly, and uh, video three is going to show you how to vacuum out the system and charge the Freon. And then probably the last video, I'll show you the unit working and all my thoughts on everything in the install. Please think about subscribing. Uh, if you want to watch these videos, I will put them linked in the description along with all the tools and actually the unit that I'm installing. And they make a couple different BTU size units. I think they have a 9, a 12, an 18, and a 24. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up.